The Bucks Pacers matchup, it's pretty interesting because particularly we talk about young teams and maybe you're trying to, to play the system a little bit, yeah. trying to avoid certain seedings. No, no, that isn't the case for this Pacers squad against the Milwaukee Bucks, Woj. This is a unique 3 6 series because this is an Indiana team that beat Milwaukee four out of five times this year. None of those games with Pascal Siakam. He came in the trade from Toronto after they finished playing them this season. He's got more playoff experience and has championship experience than anyone on this Pacers roster. The Pacers got some big game experience in the in-season tournament, beating the Celtics at home, going to Vegas. It gave him a little feel for the playoffs. And Tyrese Halliburton, uh, he absolutely destroyed this Milwaukee team. They athletically, they cannot, they have not been able to stay in front of these Pacers. And Halliburton, all-star weekend uh, in Indianapolis. Listen to this. Here's what he told me on the Woj Pod at a, a public airing of the show. There's been a lot of stuff with the Bucks. Is, is there a rivalry here? I don't want to say it's a rivalry yet because I feel like there's a proven championship team over there and I've never played in a playoff game. So I won't necessarily call it a rivalry. I know that there are probably a lot of people out there that would, would call it that. And they, there's been obviously some extracurricular activities this season between the both of us. And um, so I don't know. I mean, right now in the standings, they're the three seed. We're the six seed. I think that people would enjoy to, to see that play. I would enjoy that playoff matchup. I think they would enjoy that playoff matchup as well. Yeah, Michael Wilbon, I think I would enjoy that playoff matchup. I'm, I'm going to enjoy that that playoff matchup. Um, it's, it's just interesting looking at the Bucks. You talk about athletically what their concerns are. How about emotionally? Mm. I mean, that, this is a team that is not what we thought it would be. Not from the beginning of the year when it led to their coach, Adrian Griffin, being fired. Not what it's been since Doc Rivers took over when they've barely been 500. And now we've got Giannis Antetokounmpo injured again, and we don't know exactly what his status is, Woj, and which I know you're going to get to. What do we think about, about Giannis? Because without Giannis, right. we're talking about Indiana advancing. Without Giannis Antetokounmpo, to me, on that team. Around-the-clock treatment right now for Giannis Antetokounmpo uh, with that la left calf injury. Right. Uh, but that's going to be the biggest factor this week is his rehab and his ability to not just play in this series against Indiana, but be dominant because Milwaukee will need okay. him to do that to win. Go ahead, Perk. Doc Rivers. Doc Rivers. I never thought it would come to this moment. But, damn it, he got to get into his bag. He has the coach. And if I'm the Milwaukee Bucks, I'm looking at the Indiana Pacers, and there's no way in hell that you should put any type of pressure on bringing back Giannis Antetokounmpo. I'm not saying that they are, but he should be able to get treatment, rehab, and get back in the second round because you have enough pieces. Right. You have enough pieces. You have Damian Lillard. Mm -hmm. You have money-making Milton. You have Brooke Lopez, mm -hmm. who have shown us time and time again. Money-making Milton. Yeah, that's his name. Money-making. He's been... Stephen A., he's been playing not great basketball. That's how they introduced him in Pfizer he, Forum. Yeah, since he's got back, okay? And Bobby Portis, I'm going to say this again. Important Bobby figure. Portis yes. is a 20 and 10 guy when he's a starter. Doc Rivers got to coach his ass off. There's right. no other way around it. Are you ready for this? I'm glad y'all are here because I want to say this in front of y'all face. With or without Giannis, Indiana is winning this series. They're going to beat Milwaukee. That's number one. Number two, when that happens, in my opinion, when that happens, I think the Milwaukee Bucks should take a strong, hard look on using the asset that is Damian Lillard and moving him from Milwaukee to someplace else. I don't think he wants to be there. I don't think his play looks like he wants to be there. And on top of it all, and on top of it all, defensively, we talked about Halliburton, right? Well, well who's going? Who's going? Uh, Jalen Brunson and what he's done against Milwaukee this year. Well, 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 well who's there? Who's gone? It ain't just Damian Lillard. It's others. I'm simply saying what we fantasized about, what we anticipated about with the Milwaukee Bucks, I don't think ever existed. And I think it shows itself in this first round series. I'll take you on that bet. Okay. I, I got Milwaukee beating the Indiana Pacers. I'll take you on that bet. I, I think Doc will figure something out. Mm -hmm. This is my last hope with Doc Rivers. I think he'll put Patrick Beverly in that lineup. I think Patrick Be Beverly has been the heart and soul of that team. They will find something. They'll they figure it out something. next year, I, not this year. We'll I, see. I agree with the part Stephen A. says about without Giannis, they don't win this series.